Starting a new project with CircuitIQ, follow these step-by-step -step instructions and make sure to pause the video when you need to to follow along. Step one, start by logging into your CircuitIQ account or make a new one. Navigate to the Properties tab and click the green New Project button in the bottom right. Enter your project details, including the location, the type of property it is, and any primary or secondary contact information that you want to add. Step two, plug in your CircuitIQ mappers into every outlet around the property. And make sure the green LED light on the front of the mapper turns on. Head back to the electrical panel and don't worry if you have multiple panels for right now. We'll cover that later. Step three is the panel setup stage. Apply your QuickLink QR sticker to the panel and scan it when prompted. You'll also take a photo of the panel for digital records. Enter the panel details, including its name, the capacity of the main breaker, and number of breaker slots using the drop-down lists, or enter the text yourself with the text fields. Build a digital version of the panel in step four. Edit and adjust the digital breaker capacities and styles to match the physical panel. Step five is when you cycle the circuit breakers. Follow the on-screen instructions and turn each breaker off and on, clicking done after each action. Cycle each breaker and use the skip breaker button for circuits you can't turn off at that time. When that's complete, you have the option to add a panel or start mapping. Click add a panel if there are more than one panels on the property. Otherwise, you're ready to start mapping. Step six is where we figure out where your outlets are connected. Turn on your CircuitIQ gateway by holding the side button for two seconds. Plug it into your phone to charge if necessary. You can also decide if device labels are required, and if they are, turn on your CircuitIQ labeler when prompted. Click the IQ button on the side of a CircuitIQ mapper and enter the device details on your smartphone. This includes the type of load, the location, and any notes to include, such as AFCI. If the app tells you this outlet was not mapped, it means the breaker wasn't cycled. This could be because of hidden subpanels or it's on a circuit breaker that wasn't turned off. Continue this process for every mapper until each one has been identified and collected. Click Finished Mapping at the bottom of the screen when you're done to move on to the next step. Step seven is where you can add any devices that couldn't be captured at that time. Check out our Adding Custom Devices video on our YouTube page. Wrap up your project by packing up your CircuitIQ mappers and head back to the panel. Click Generate Panel Card and download on the Panel View screen of the app to access a printable PDF version of your circuit directory. Check out our other video tutorials to learn more, stop guessing, start mapping.